It was a peaceful and quiet Thursday morning in downtown Crandall until 180 school employees filed into Crandall High School, colored armbands and fake blood in a spray bottle dictating the roles they would play. Are there any questions? Then three fake gunshots. Go. In room 138. And a pretend gunman emerging to roam the halls. An EMS worker firing blanks to make the scenario. Run! Run! All that much more real. Thirteen different police agencies respond. If you guys want to go straight, we can go left. Stepping over actors playing dead and searching the labyrinth of rooms and hallways for several fake gunmen. Use your hands. Until the threats press, 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 press. Press, press. were eliminated. 704 B Boss. Second shooting now. Listen, I need all three of y'all to listen carefully. I need y'all to stand up, keep your hands up, and walk out with me. You're Attendance Administrator Janita Pilgrim, with her hands still raised, told me this was all too real. It's scary. Is it? Yes. Even though it's fake, it's still scary? Yeah, it's still scary to think that there are people out here that would do this to come into a school and do this to innocent people. We've been planning this for a really long time. Planning since last August. Out of respect for Uvalde, they considered canceling this exercise. You're a teacher? Who are you? But then decided the failures in Uvalde were reason enough to practice this even more. You will not see us standing there waiting for anything. You just won't. Yeah. That's not how we're trained. This is valuable to our first responders, and, and in light of Uvalde, it will help us get stronger and be better. Ambulances, medics, and a life flight helicopter were part of this very real exercise, too. One they hope will improve responses and reaction times and give teachers more confidence. You know, it got to me. In case the unthinkable ever comes to Crandall, too. In Kaufman County, I'm Kevin Reese. Blue coming, blue coming.